Hello, Kevin Vandy with Competitive Edge Physical Therapy, here to review a triple hop video from our ACL return to sport testing. In particular, we're reviewing a case that's demonstrating what's called quadriceps avoidance. In this video, you're looking at an athlete going through a triple hop test for his non-operated side here, his left side. You see the skeleton avatar produced by 3D IMU motion sensors. And right here, you see the ground reaction force vector from the force plate. This allows us to get precise data on landing mechanics and forces and to compare specific joint angles from left side to right side. As we move over onto the operated side, the right leg, and this athlete is one year post-op ACL surgery, we see a distinct difference between landing mechanics on this side versus the other side. In particular, there is less hip and knee flexion, there is a more jarring landing on the ground, and there's insufficient usage of the quadriceps muscle during this movement. This is termed passive shock absorption, or in this case, quadriceps avoidance, because there's excessive bend at the trunk to try to absorb the shock instead of absorbing it at the muscular system in the quadricep, in the front thigh muscle. You also see a compensatory trunk lean to try to mitigate the joint forces that weren't able to be absorbed through the quadricep. Here you'll see the specific joint angles associated with this movement. Again, this is the non-operated left side. And here we'll pause the video so you can see that the knee is bending to approximately 60, 60 degrees and the hip to 66 degrees. He's going to go through one more hop to get onto the force plate. This is the maximum amount of loading during the test. And what you'll see here is the knee will bend to approximately 83 degrees and the hip to 85 degrees. You also see a forward trunk lean. The hips are back. Uh, posterior and the knee is behind the toes. Proper shock absorption. Here you'll see a deficiency in the amount of bend at the knee and a deficiency in the amount of bend at the hip. The knee is markedly different compared right side to left side. As we see here in this paused video, we'll pause it again here on the second jump, which is 36.6 degrees of knee flexion. We'll pause it again on the final jump. You also see a substantial difference in the distance able to be jumped because each time this athlete lands, there's such a jarring amount of shock that the muscular, muscular system cannot tolerate it and has to arrest the motion or stop the motion before adding new movement into the mechanics. Here you'll see a side-by-side -side example of right side and left side. On the right side, you'll see a 50% decrease in knee flexion, and that is a very large amount being one year post-op. These are the symptoms of quadriceps avoidance. This, these are the things we see in terms of decreased knee flexion, decreased hip flexion, and a compensatory trunk lean. These are all things that need to be addressed at months two to six in rehab through a specific strength training program and plyometric training to teach proper shock absorption so an athlete can return to things such as cutting, jumping, and sprinting. For more information, check out www.compedgept.com.